the San Francisco Zoo and the tax people in the park. Live from the News Center in high definition, this is News Channel 8. On your side, the Midday Report. Good morning, I'm Josh Thomas. Bill Ratliff and Gil Guardo both have the morning off. Thank you for joining us. Well, if you didn't get exactly what you wanted for Christmas or you just want to use those gift cards, retailers are hoping that you head back to the mall today to help pad their holiday sales numbers. Many malls and stores opened early this morning with after Christmas sales hoping to entice customers inside. So far, analysts say that the holiday shopping season has been lackluster. According to one division of MasterCard, sales rose just 2.4 percent this year. And some experts say this week could provide shoppers with some much needed items with deeply discounted prices. What I think consumers are going to see the week after Christmas are wonderful deals on seasonal merchandise. It's the perfect time to be buying apparel. And officials with the National Retail Federation say that consumers spent more than $26 billion on gift cards this year. It's important for consumers to use all of those holiday gift cards because those sales are not recorded until the gift cards are redeemed. Well, there were some scary moments for a Tampa family overnight after their three-year-old child disappeared. Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies say that the boy disappeared from an apartment in the Fredericksburg Apartments on North 22nd Street in Tampa late last night. After a search that lasted several hours overnight, neighbors found the boy watering the complex's parking lot and returned him to his parents. Deputies have not said how that three-year-old managed to get out of his apartment. Residents of a Hillsborough County senior center are back in their homes this morning after an overnight fire alarm forced them to evacuate. Just before 1 o'clock this morning, someone reported smoke coming from the second floor of the Landown Terrace Senior Center on Livingston Avenue in Tampa. Fire officials have not said what started that fire, but they were able to put it out and allow residents back into their homes by 1.30. Christmas night at Baywalk in St. Petersburg turned violent after someone opened fire at the movie and entertainment complex. St. Petersburg police have confirmed that one person was shot in the leg, but were told that wound is not life-threatening. Police say that all of the movies were sold out last night, and that's when teenagers started to gather. Officers say that several fights started and someone fired a gun. From sporadic gunfire, it appears that for the most part we're still investigating, but shots were fired in the air uh, just to get, you know, the crowd going. And there's no word yet if St. Petersburg police made any arrest in connection with that shooting, but officials say they did take several people in for questioning following the incident. A Tampa police officer and a teenager are recovering this morning after they were attacked while investigating a robbery. It happened on Monday at a home on Florabraska Avenue. As News Channel East Claudio de Campo reports, it all started when a neighbor saw a man breaking into a vacant house next door. It was that window there. Yeah, the second window right there. Apparently you can open it. And he pulled it and he snuck right in there. Fernando Lopez was at home with his mother preparing Christmas dinner. He then saw a man sneaking into the vacant house next door and came outside. So I was standing right here in the front of the street and I saw a squad car pass by and I flagged him down, I whistled and... The patrol officer, Corporal Danny Hernandez, and a teenager in the Explorer program stopped to see what was going on. I went back inside, figuring thing, everything was going to be all right. But then Lopez heard a commotion. Uh, the officer had went inside to, to get the guy. And next thing you know, they're fighting like cats and dogs, and the officers got hurt. Both of them got hurt. The police report says Drew Robinson managed to get the officer's gun away from him and then grabbed the baton. Then landed right there on that spot by the, the stairs, the blue stairs right here. The two men struggled. Corporal Hernandez was repeatedly hit on the head by the baton. Then the teen explorer jumped in to help, but he too was struck by the baton. Well, they finally got him in the ground and put the handcuffs on him. And, and then know. other squads showed up too? Oh, yes. And then the helicopter came by and the squad car. And... The officer and the teenager were treated for their injuries. Drew Robinson was arrested and appeared in court this morning. He was pretty strong, so they had a rough time doing it. But they did it. But they did it. Thank God they did it. I'm Claudia Docampo, News Channel 8. And police say that Drew Robinson also bit the officer six times on the shoulder. He is now facing seven felony charges and is being held without bond. Robinson was on probation for prior drug-related charges when that attack happened. 
In our Decision 2008 covers this morning, presidential candidate Rudolph Giuliani is scheduled to be in the Bay Area today for several campaign stops. This is filed video of Giuliani during a stop in Tampa earlier this month. The first stop for Giuliani will be here at the News Center for a meeting with the Tampa Tribune's editorial board. Then he'll be off to Largo in Pinellas County to hold a roundtable discussion on veterans' issues at the American Legion Post. Giuliani has said that he's not focusing on the Iowa caucuses or the New Hampshire primary because he's hoping to gain ground during Florida's primary on January 29th. With the Iowa caucuses a little more than a week away, other candidates for president are hitting the campaign trail again after a brief Christmas break. All of the candidates for president left Iowa for Christmas except for Connecticut Senator Christopher Dodd, who is running a home in the state. The candidates are hoping to get crucial support from the undecided voters across the state during the final push for votes. Well, we've been enjoying some warm December weather these past few days, but will that weather trend continue? Storm teammate meteorologist Jennifer Hill joining us now live from the Forecast Center with more. Jen? Hello, Josh. Hello, everybody. Yes, yesterday was a nice warm day. Today's slightly cooler, and then we're really going to start warming things up back towards highs of 80s by the end of the week. This is a look at the current temperatures. Upper 60s right now in Port Ritchie and Ancloat Key. 60s, though, for most of us in Pinellas, back towards Hillsborough County. And as we move things back, we can see 63 degrees right now in Arcadia, 62 frostproof. Still in the 40s, though, in Cedar Key. Probably some fog in that area. This is a look at the visible satellite. And right now we do have quite a few clouds over the region. We're going to start clearing those out today. And then as we progress through the week, like I said, things are warming up. But they're also going to be a bit muggy as well. Coming up, Josh will talk about the warming trend and also the possibility for some rain. There is a slim hope there. Slim is, is good enough for right now. That's all we're going to get. All right. Thank you very much, Jim. We'll check back with you a little later on. Okay. Taking a look at news from around America this morning, one person is dead after a tiger escaped from its cage at the San Francisco Zoo. Police shot and killed that tiger, but not before it mauled one person to death and seriously injured two other people on Christmas Day. Officers found the big cat as it was attacking its second victim in front of the zoo's cafe. As the tiger lunged at officers, they opened fire, killing the animal. It turns out the tiger is the same one that mauled a zookeeper last December. The tiger that uh, is involved in this incident was one of the Siberians. Its name is Tatiana. It's the animal that was involved in the incident a year ago. Today, zoo officials are investigating how Tatiana escaped from her cage. The two people who survived the tiger attack are recovering this morning in a San Francisco hospital. The family of a woman killed when the ceiling of Boston's Big Dig Tunnel collapsed has reached a settlement. Malena Del Val died in July of 2006 when a huge chunk of the ceiling from the tunnel fell on her car. Her family reached a $6 million settlement with the company that makes the adhesive used to secure the tiles to the ceiling. Investigators say the adhesive was not strong enough to use for overhead loads. Today marks the beginning of Kwanzaa. The week-long celebration uses seven principles to honor the African-American heritage of family, community, and culture. Tonight, thousands across the U.S. will celebrate the first principle called Umoja, which stresses the importance of togetherness of the family and community. One principle is celebrated each night beginning tonight through January 1st. Well, a disturbing new study shows credit card payments are frequently being paid late. Coming up, why experts say that debt delinquencies could get worse before they get better. And we've seen all kinds of technological advances throughout the year. We'll have a review of the latest kinds of technology that we found out about in 2007. That's coming up next. When I first met Keith, I liked him immediately. We're kindred spirits in that he's interested in the entirety of our craft, the shooting and editing of the video, as well as writing the story. And you can tell he has so much empathy for the people in his stories. Across the Bay or around the world, he's always concise, objective. He almost leaves you with a feeling that you were there yourself. And those are the same values he'll always bring to the news desk. That's the Keith Kate I know. It's a new year, but now you can take years off. Call this number now for a free brochure and see if you're a candidate for the Lifestyle Lift. My sister had excellent results. My aunt had excellent results. So I just thought, I'm going to do it for me. Safer, quicker, and easier than the old way. Call and see for yourself. It's the best call I ever made. Look your best. Do something for yourself. For a change, call today for a free brochure. Some things just get better over time. 
And if you're a homeowner age 62 years or older, a reverse mortgage could make this the best time of your life. Hi, I'm Robert Wagner for the Senior Lending Network. A reverse mortgage is a government-insured loan that allows homeowners 62 and over to access the equity in their homes without making any monthly loan payments. I know. I know it sounds too good to be true, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. That's why the Senior Lending Network created this free educational video. It'll tell you all about government regulations, insurances, and safeguards, costs and fees associated with reverse mortgage, estate planning and inheritance issues, and much, much more. So if you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, let me send you your free video right now. It really could make this the best time of your life. Call 1-800-761-1381. That's 1-800-761-1381. Call now. Here's some troubling news right after Christmas. A new report shows Americans are falling behind on their credit card payments at an alarming rate. Credit card defaults and delinquencies surged into the double digits over the past year. And according to a new Associated Press report, the worst is yet to come. Accounts at least 30 days late jumped 26% in October from 2006 when the AP analyzed 17 large credit card companies. Economists expect delinquencies and defaults to rise even further once the bills from the holiday shopping season start rolling in. Well, if you're heading to Puerto Rico early next year, soon you'll have a new airline to choose from. JetBlue is launching service from Fort Lauderdale to San Juan beginning on, beginning in February, that is. The added route is part of a recent ramp up of service by the airline. JetBlue officials say they have added seven new routes out of South Florida so far this winter. Well, some of your vital communication systems could go kaput soon if you're still using an analog network. In 2002, the federal government agreed to allow cellular carriers to shut down analog networks. That's happening after February 18th, 2008. Analog cell phones will lose their service and users will need to purchase a digital cell phone. Also, about 400,000 home alarm systems use analog service as well, so you need to check on that. And so you should just do that by contacting your security provider for more information on the shutdown. Japanese automaker Toyota is setting the bar high for its 2008 sales goal. This is video provided by the Toyota Motor Corporation. Toyota officials say they plan to sell 10 million vehicles worldwide next year. Despite worries about a slowing U.S. car market, analysts say high gas prices will make Toyota's fuel-efficient cars attractive to potential buyers. Toyota hopes to overtake General Motors as the world's highest selling automaker. From long lines for iPhones to lead covered toys, 2007 was another big year of ups and downs for the tech and business world. Scott Budman takes a look back at a few of our favorite things. For blatant hype, long lines, and the flat out cool factor, I'll pick the Apple iPhone as the year's biggest gadget. This is a game changer, and the rest of the world is already starting to follow, beginning with Apple's own iPod Touch. And when it's done, you can listen to it. As for Apple CEO Touch Steve Jobs, let's cut to the chase. The this man computer, who brought us Apple and secret. Pixar is now the most powerful man in the entertainment industry. And how's this for entertainment? Halo 3, blasting through video game sales records while boosting sales of Microsoft's Xbox 360. You're gonna need some firepower to get past it. For you PC gamers out there, you got Crisis. Looks like a movie, plays like a battlefield. As for business trends, 2007 was very green, both to help the environment and to bring back the monster IPO. And to find our way to the future, more do everything gadgets. And one company, Google, of course, leading the way to new search, wireless, and financial horizons. And then there's even more to come, you can rest assured of that. Oh, definitely. Well, in school, many of us took classes like English, social studies, and math. But now students at a Texas university are given the chance to take a class Maybe. called Weird Science. Yeah. We'll see what it's all about coming up next. It's holiday time, so you've got to be ready for guests. Dunkin' Donuts pound of coffee. I always have like a million pounds on hand. So when friends pop in, brew some up and be their hero. <laughs> America runs on Dunkin'. Help kick up donations for food for families. 
Drop off non-perishable food when you see the Rockettes at the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. All this month. Happy holidays from our State Farm family to your family. Hi, I'm Mark Wilson, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from your Temple Terrace State Farm office. Hi, I'm Mark Higgins, your State Farm agent in Seminole, wishing you a safe and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Wayne O'Brien Agency, Arbor Square at Connerton, Land O'Lakes. Wishing you happy holidays from your State Farm agent, Pamela Patterson. Season's greetings from your local State Farm agents. This is the story of two sisters with a lot in common. Both were diagnosed with osteoporosis and both had mild back pain. But one took the pain and did nothing. The other took her back pain seriously and she took charge. She saw her doctor who diagnosed spinal fractures. Because she acted quickly, the fractures were repaired to help her stand strong. If you're over 50, don't ignore even mild back pain. It may signal a spinal fracture. Call now for your free fracture assessment kit to know your risks and how to talk to your doctor before it's too late for treatment. This is the story of two sisters with a lot in common, but one took the pain. One took charge. Now one takes care of the other. Don't wait. If you have back pain, call 1-866-508-8989 or go to spinalfracture.com and take charge. Hey, I bet you know tons of people who help you all year. Want to give something back? The Dunkin' Donuts card. It's super quick, easy to give, and fun to receive. Total no-brainer. America runs on Dunkin'. You're watching the Bay Area's number one choice for news, News Channel 8. Seventy-three degrees at three o'clock at nine o'clock. Temperatures will be in the sixties. It's times like these when you just feel like you're under attack by the warm weather. Sixty-seven degrees is our current temperature right now. It's warming up. Winds of the north at seven miles an hour. Also, skies are clearing this morning. We had a really high dew point numbers and high humidity. Humidity down to sixty-eight percent. But this morning it was in the nineties with all the clouds around and the fog. More fog in the forecast for tomorrow morning. Updated temperature, 66 degrees in Plant City and in Brandon, up to 64 right now in Clearwater, still in the 50 zone in Cloak Key and Port Ritchie, denoting some fog in the area, still underneath the clouds. 64 in Sebring and 65 right now in Arcadia. Now our forecast highs day, cooler to the north. That's because there is some cooler air that has arrived in Florida. It's just not moving very far down to the south. So we're forecasting temperatures near 80 degrees the farther south you go, but the farther north north you go, the closer they are to 70. And there are some clouds today in the Truvy Sky forecast, but those clouds should start to clear out. Well, you're looking at them. The last two tides today at St. Petersburg Pier, high tide, 5.55 p.m. Low tide will be at 7.58. Sunset happening at 5.42. And here's today's boating forecast. Light winds in general, seas today two to three feet. Light chop for area waters. Right now, the Gulf temperature is 67 degrees. And yes, there will be a little bit of a sea breeze today. We did have some rain to our north, but that whole system is moving away, moving to the north. Behind it will wrap in some warmer air, making for mild conditions. So today, temperatures right around 74 degrees in Tampa, but by tomorrow, forecasting highs near 80. This is a look at the national satellite and radar showing the clouds and the precipitation. And there is a band of moisture there, that blob of moisture wrapped around a low pressure system. You can see it moving up to the north. And then right along here, there are some cooler air pockets. That's where we see that pink color there. That's some ice. And then another storm system moving through the middle of the country right now. You can see low pressure system wrapping up here, bringing in some ice again to Oklahoma. And that stretches up into the Great Lakes, creating some snow there. And then another storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest. They dealt with one all throughout Christmas. So we'll see some snow at the higher elevations outside of Portland and Seattle and then a mix of rain and snow in the city centers themselves. 36 degrees today in Topeka, 40 in Chicago, 51 degrees today in Cincinnati, and we're forecasting 44 degrees today in Boston. A bit messy there. Here's the seven day forecast, 79 degrees for tomorrow, 80 for Friday, bringing that rain chance up to about 20% for the weekend. And that's just caused by some moisture coming in and some heating of the day, and then another chance for rain coming our way Right around New Year's Eve, that's thanks to a cold front on the horizon. A lot of people hope that it doesn't rain on New Year's Eve, we're but gonna we do, do need the rain. Yeah, we're going to do the best we can to make everybody happy. All right. Thank you very much, Jen. Mm -hmm.
Well, in, uh, excuse me, a university in Texas is bringing the concept of weird science to the classroom. NBC's Kate Weida checked out the class. Inside a former television studio on the University of Texas campus, just, a new type of production is in the works. So much I was gifted with this wonderful dental x-ray transformer. It's about 75,000 volts. The class is called Weird Science. Thanks. Weird Science is a class that takes a practical look at the history of science and the oddities that take place. And it's exactly what I wanted to do in college, just like have a class where I go and I build stuff and do things. Edward and Christie, an engineering student, is tackling the laws of physics. Uh, this is called a lifter. An electric yeah. current runs along the wire, which affects the aluminum foil. When, it, when the particles, charged particles move down, they charge the air around them and it's forced downward towards the negative terminal. In other words, it's supposed to float. I wouldn't stand that close to that. With my photographer no, a safe on. distance from the 30,000 volts. It might be too heavy. Since science is all about trial and error, yeah. check out what but happens when you put yeah. distilled water so. into two glasses. And when you apply high voltage, they bridge up, the water comes up out of the glass and connects between the two glasses, and you can actually pull, I'll pull the two glasses apart, and you'll have a bridge hanging in midair of water that's just floating there. And it's cool to see, but you might be asking, why is a university offering a weird science class? Well, the main thing for this class is we want to teach individuals how to think, how to be self-sufficient, how to be quick thinking, and how to innovate. My project is an attempt to convey uh, the experience of synesthesia to people who don't have synesthesia, which is uh, I associate colors with every letter and number in, and that we have. With her mind reading helmet on and a remote hidden in her oven mitt, she takes you on a weird experience of synesthesia. So, so the letter B to me is blue, and uh, my boyfriend Brandon, his name starts with a B, so to me his, that word is blue. So if I was talking about Brandon, then I would put up blue images on the screen. Weird science of Derek Gildersleeve meant creating a laser harp. Each string is represented by a laser that, um, when interrupted with a finger or, uh, you know, an, an obstacle, it, it creates the sound that that string would make if you plucked it on a, on a harp. While this class may find the next Albert Einstein or Sir Isaac Newton, there's always one probing question these brilliant students ask. Sure. Uh, are we going to watch the movie Weird Science? And the answer is maybe. I guess we know why they call the class Weird Science. Well, that was one of my favorite movies, Weird Science. Yeah, obviously their favorite class, too. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a look at the latest numbers on Wall Street coming up. Then a new study shows the differences between how employees expect male and female bosses to act. We'll give you the highlights of the study coming up after the break. But first, here's a look at last night's lottery numbers. Cash 3, 6, 8, 1, play 4, 5, 0, 7, 9. Fantasy 5, 12, 26, 31, 33, 34. And Mega Money, 12, 14, 29, 41, and big one, 14. Notice how digital's made pretty much everything better, especially television. Digital TV's got better picture, better sound, more channels. In fact, digital's so much better that by law, all broadcast TV has to be digital by 2009. But there's a catch. Some TVs need an upgrade to get digital. You could even lose your signal. Get the facts. Visit DTVAnswers.com to learn about television switch to digital. Or call this number to see how you can stay connected. at Sanderson Farms, we wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we mean that 100%. Save up to 80% buying Factory Direct. Compare this well-known jeweler's 91-point platinum ring for $5,700 with the jewelry exchanges for $1,490. We make jewelry in every price range guaranteed to appraise for double. Half-carat pendants, studs, and tennis bracelets are $199, two carats $499. Three stone rings are $699, two carats $1990, and one carat studs are still $399. Seen it elsewhere, we'll make it for less. Plus, no interest for six months. 
by Factory Direct, the jewelry exchange in Tampa. Hi, I'm Mark Yonker of Winters & Yonker. Have you been injured in an accident but think you don't have the money to hire Winters & Yonker? You don't need money to hire us. Our fees and costs are recovered from the at-fault driver. If we don't recover, you owe us nothing. Zero, zip, nada. And in most cases, we can arrange to have you seen by a doctor and in a rental car at no cost to you. Call the aggressive attorneys Winters & Yonker toll-free at 888-373-7770. It's time now for the Midday Market Report. U.S. home prices fell in October for the 10th consecutive month, declining a record 6.7% compared with a year ago. It's according to a new survey. That survey measured home prices across the country and found prices in Miami fell more than any other market, declining 12.4%. So let's take a look at how the numbers are being affected on Wall Street. Just before the top of the hour, the Dow was down 39 points to 13,509. The NASDAQ was down nearly 11 points to 2,709. And the S&P was down 5 points to 1,490. Employees have different expectations of their bosses depending on gender. New research from Syracuse University shows that female managers are expected to be sensitive to subordinates' emotions. Women managers who are not are often given negative reviews. Now, on the flip side, male bosses who don't empathize with their employees aren't penalized for their lack of sensitivity. The study suggests gender stereotypes may be blamed for this difference in expectations. Fathers across the country are looking for more family time and flexible career paths. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says there has been a rise in the number of fathers who are filing complaints against employers because of perceived discrimination in the workplace. Workplace specialists are calling the new struggle for family fathers the daddy wars. Well, if you need an excuse to go shopping today, retailers will give you one. Why their fingers are crossed that you will soon pay them a visit. And a California zoo turns deadly when a tiger escapes just after closing time Christmas Day. Now investigators are using daylight to search for other victims of the tiger's attack. Those stories and more after the break. Tampa Theater presents Holiday Classics, all your favorite holiday movies, Sundays at 3 p.m. through December. Tickets on sale now. It's the after Christmas sale at Wreck Warehouse. Choose from hundreds of pool tables priced from only $4.99. Take home this $2,500 slate table for only $9.99 or just $20 per month. Save big on game tables, bars, and bar stools. This week only at Wreck Warehouse. Do you like taking pictures? How about meeting new people and trying new things? Well, here's a career that just might quit. Train in digital photography. You could travel around the world taking pictures for magazines or capture events closer to home. Know what else is great? You can get trained in a short amount of time. So go ahead, picture your perfect career. Then call IADT. For a complimentary career guide, call 888-856-2111. That's 888-856-2111. Call now. If you plan on building, furnishing, or remodeling your home, or you're just tired of paying retail, don't spend another dollar. Now, you can enjoy an incredible selection of top quality, name brand products, priced up to 50% less than retail. Take the first step towards saving hundreds or even thousands of dollars on nearly anything for your home. Call for your free Direct Buy Insider's Guide to Buying Direct and learn what retailers don't want you to know. Each full color page of the Insider's Guide is packed with powerful information Discover some of the hundreds of thousands of products available from over 700 name brand manufacturers. Everything, including furniture, cabinets, appliances, flooring, lighting fixtures, and so much more. All without retail markups. At Direct Buy, you can't afford to miss this valuable opportunity. Call the number on your screen now to get your own Direct Buy Insider's Guide. You'll also receive a visitor's pass and map to the Direct Buy showroom nearest you. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll be buying direct. So call now. It's the New Year's Spa Sale at Rick Warehouse. 500 spas must be sold in the next four days. New models, last year's models, floor models, everything must go. Prices start at $6.99 with payments as low as $15 per month. This week only at Rick Warehouse. Now on News Channel 8. A Siberian tiger escapes from its cage and attacks two people after escaping from the San Francisco Zoo, killing one. And it's been three years since a natural disaster hit Indonesia by means of a massive tsunami. How the country is using this day to remember and to prevent. 
Plus, Pinellas Hope is the county's attempt to take a different approach toward the homeless. We stop by this holiday season to see how well it's working. Live from the News Center in high definition, this is News Channel 8. On your side, the Midday Report. Morning, I'm Josh Thomas. Thank you for joining us. Well, we are now following some breaking news out of Hillsborough County where a serious accident has shut down U.S. Highway 39. News Channel 8's chief photojournalist Paul Lamison joins us now live from Eagle Lake over the scene with the very latest. Paul. Hey, Josh. Here's where we are. We're on State Road 39, as you said, just south of 674, just north of the Manatee County line. The proper... Grabby things got a right bit of the dingies. Right then, I'm off. Mine down here in Hillsborough County, and here's what's happened. If you can take a look and see, the semi truck was heading northbound on 39, and the crane pulled out from the dirt road. We don't know how it happened or why it happened. It was foggy in this area. When we got down here, there was low visibility, and you can see the result. There is a confirmed fatality, and it is probably the man driving the truck. And as I pull out wide, you can see the skid marks. They go on for couple hundred yards and so what I think happens and what it looks like happens is the crane pulled out in front of the semi truck and the accident ensued investigators are on scene now the road is still closed off and will be closed off for the foreseeable future they're trying to piece together what happened in the accident and notify the next of kin from it looks like the person in the semi truck driving in northbound on State Road 39 that's really all we know from here in Eagle 8, this is News Channel 8's Paul Amison. Back to you, Josh. Paul, thank you very much for that live report from Eagle 8 this morning. And, of course, we'll continue to follow the story and bring you the latest as it becomes available. Well, this morning, investigators are sweeping the grounds of the San Francisco Zoo looking for clues as to how a tiger escaped. Just before closing time yesterday, the female Siberian tiger got out of her cage and attacked three visitors, killing one of them. Police fought back, shooting and killing the tiger named Tatiana, Tatiana is the same tiger that attacked a zookeeper around this time last year. And at last check, the two mauled men were in critical but stable condition. Well, you know the drill. It is the day after Christmas, and that certainly means for many of us, it is the time to hit the mall for some big time sales. Meanwhile, as NBC's Kristen Dalton reports, retailers are counting receipts to see what kind of tune cash register bells are playing. It's that annual ritual. Not the trek to grandma's house, but the trip back to the mall. For thousands, this is the day to take it back and take advantage of after Christmas sales. What I think consumers are going to see the week after Christmas are wonderful deals on seasonal merchandise. It's the perfect time to be buying apparel. Retailers are expected to slash prices after what looks to be a lackluster holiday season. According to a division of MasterCard, sales rose just 2.4% this year, on the low end of forecasts, but not unexpected. We think people have managed to put it off even a little bit more this year than in past years. There was a last-minute surge in shopping last weekend, but it seems that couldn't erase concerns over high gas prices and questions about the economy. When oil prices go up, it affects food prices, it affects everything. So I'm like, OK, I need to cut back a little bit. You're looking at folks who, once they fill up the groceries and fill up the car, uh, that wallet is awfully thin when they head to the mall. So starting today, those malls will try to lure shoppers back, banking on deep discounts to make their registers ring. I'll buy up to New Year's Eve. Uh, Monday this week coming, I plan on buying at least a half a dozen gifts. Hoping it's not too late to turn this into a green Christmas. And don't forget about gift cards. Consumers are expected to spend more than $26 billion on them this year. That's up significantly from years past. And that money isn't counted until the gift card is redeemed. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Washington. And here are some of the big deals that we have heard about. Toys R Us will offer 40% price cuts on MP3 and iPod accessories. Macy's will be taking 50 to 75% off cashmere. And at Saks Fifth Avenue, you can find fur coats at 40 to 60% off. Well, Tarpon Springs police say that they have arrested a second person in connection with a home invasion robbery over the weekend. Police arrested 16-year-old David Lee Flanders this morning. They say he broke into a home on North Florida Avenue in Tarpon Springs early Sunday morning. He's charged with armed 
in a home invasion and violation of probation. Investigators say that he remains a possible suspect in another home invasion from Sunday morning. A man accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl will not be getting out of jail anytime soon. Daniel Garcia made his first appearance in a Tampa courtroom yesterday. Investigators say that he entered the girl's bedroom while she slept and touched her inappropriately. When she woke up, they say that he told her to be quiet and he would not let her out of bed. Garcia is in jail without bond. A Waimama man may face charges after investigators say he hit and killed a pedestrian with his truck. The accident happened Christmas Eve at the intersection of College Avenue East and 6th Street in Ruskin. The Florida Highway Patrol says that 65-year-old Servan Del Silva hit and killed 25-year-old Robert Cavazos, who was standing in the road. Cavazos died at the scene. The FHP is still investigating. Well, this time last year, people all over Pasco County were cleaning up after a Christmas tornado. The twister turned holidays upside down for people on Christmas Day. It whipped through northeast Pasco County shortly after 11.30 in the morning, damaging homes and destroying others. The destruction stretched from Tampa Bay Golf and Country Club through St. Joe Road in Lacucci. A hundred families faced financial losses, but no one was seriously hurt. Well, will a cool down bring some winter weather to the Bay Area anytime soon? Storm Team 8 meteorologist Jennifer Hill joins us now live from the forecast center to answer that question. Jen? That's right. A lot of people want to know if we're ever going to get cool, and in the near future, it doesn't really look like it's going to happen, but things could be worse. As we look out to our west, you can see the storm system coming out of Texas right now, wrapping back into Oklahoma City, bringing in a mix of snow and ice to Oklahoma City, and they're still trying to clean up after that huge storm rolled through the region. All this system moving off to the east. Unfortunately, though, it's not in our forecast. We still have the warm temperatures in our forecast, and speaking of warm, let's check out the current temperature some of us already nearing 70 degrees. Plant City right now at 68. Brandon has 66. Still in the 50s, though, along the water. And we have 64 degrees in Lakeland, 62 in Brooksville, and 65 right now in Sebring. A lot of clouds around today, but we'll have them beginning to clear out by this afternoon. And then coming up, we'll take a look at that seven-day forecast. A lot of people already have New Year's on the brain. A lot of people have planning parties. Hopefully, we won't have any rain moving to the region, but with a front on the horizon, it could be a possibility. So we'll talk about that coming up, Josh. Bringing in the new year in a wet kind of way, I guess. Unfortunately. All right. Thank you. And of course, we'll check in with you for more in just a moment. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Well, while many of us ripped open our presents on Christmas, there was one group working hard to make sure that everyone got all of their presents. The men and women of the U.S. Postal Service were up at dawn Christmas morning. They consider it their duty to help Santa out by delivering presents to Bay Area homes. One carrier says she works every Christmas and she wouldn't have it any other way. I do it every year. I love it. I mean, it's it's so good to see the joy and, and on the children's faces when they have presents coming to them on Christmas, even though they've already opened some of them. So it, it, it makes me happy to go out and deliver. And the Postal Service delivers express mail every day of the year. Well, more than 200 homeless people in Pinellas County had a better Christmas than they did last year. That's about how many people are staying at the new Pinellas Hope. That's a tent city that opened December 1st. Pinellas reporter Rod Challenger stopped by for a progress report on the facility. Pinellas Hope resident Gypsy Joe strolled through the encampment Christmas morning, spreading some holiday cheer. Catholic Charities runs Pinellas Hope, which is funded by government and religious organizations and businesses. Last winter, there was a vastly different attitude toward the homeless as St. Petersburg police slashed and confiscated tents in the makeshift communities that sprang up near downtown. The big major difference that I see is we're welcome here. Uh, Catholic Charities has opened their arms to us and, and allowed us to, to come here to a less chaotic place. This seems to be nicer and more secure. There's more amenities for the people here. Volunteers serve the homeless a Christmas morning breakfast. Organizers say the volunteers are essential to Project Hope's success. The good news is the meals are filling up and people are coming out, serving the meals and really enjoying it and actually coming back to do more. So that volunteer piece, which scared us a lot, has really worked out well. There are 225 tents here, 233 residents. And from that standpoint, Pinellas Hope has been a success. But organizers say they still have a lot of work to do. Santa's helpers gave out presents on Christmas morning, gifts of much-needed clothing. 
The task ahead is to help the residents get off the street permanently. In the encampment's first three weeks, social workers have placed just 10 people. Noel, Noel. But this Christmas, the spirit of the season is bringing hope. In Pinellas County, I'm Rod Challenger, News Channel 8. And residents of Pinellas Hope do have to abide by some rules. They have to meet a curfew, do work around the encampment, and no alcohol or drugs are allowed. The tent city will only stay open through the winter, closing at the end of April. Well, the holidays can be some of the most stressful times of the year, but some people are turning to meditation to help de-stress. We'll have that story coming up in today's 8 on Your Side Medical Report. I'm Storm Teammate Steve Jervy. It's easy to get local radar, the Storm Teammate seven-day forecast, and more directly from your phone or PDA. Here's how. With your web-enabled phone, just log on to m.tbo.com and click weather. Don't forget to replace the www with the letter M in the web address. It's free, it's easy, it's weather information when you need it, right in the palm of your hand. Add it to your favorites. For accuracy, anytime, anywhere, trust Storm Team 8. Some things just get better over time. And if you're a homeowner age 62 years or older, a reverse mortgage could make this the best time of your life. Hi, I'm Robert Wagner for the Senior Lending Network. A reverse mortgage is a government-insured loan that allows homeowners 62 and over to access the equity in their homes without making any monthly loan payments. I know. I know it sounds too good to be true, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. That's why the Senior Lending Network created this free educational video. It'll tell you all about government regulations, insurances, and safeguards, costs and fees associated with reverse mortgage, estate planning and inheritance issues, and much, much more. So if you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, let me send you your free video right now. It really could make this the best time of your life. Call 1-800-761-1381. That's 1-800-761-1381. Call now. Tired of paying too much for glasses? At VisionWorks, two complete pair of stylish glasses are just $99. For a limited time, get our lowest prices ever on no-line bifocals. Two complete pair for only $149. VisionWorks, why pay more? How does emergency boost your health and your energy? With energizing B vitamins and immune-boosting C. Emergency, feel the good. Storm Team 8, accuracy, anytime, anywhere. Well, the stress level rises pretty quickly in some people, and that can set them up for physical and emotional problems. But as NBC's Deborah Ferguson reports, a few minutes of daily relaxation can make a world of difference. An exhale, downward facing dog. Let's alternate bending the knees, walking your dog. For the next 60 minutes, the women in this yoga class focus solely on themselves. Spread the hands, spread the fingers. Flat Get down. stronger and stronger, longer muscles without having to lift weights. Exhale. If I could shut my mind off an hour a day. Inhale halfway. It changes my whole mood for the day. Exhale and fold. Let's walk to plank position. And then bring the arms out to the side. Instructor Meredith Smith takes students right from right one right posture right to right another. On the exhale, walk or spring lightly to your hands. Uttanasana. Exhale, bring the hands together at your heart. They are designed to relax the body and prepare it for meditation. Exhale, let's twist to the left. Helps calm the body, lowers the blood pressure. And the palms are on the knees. Eyes are closed and soft. For the next few minutes, the women sit quietly and, and breathe. Trying to focus on something other than a lot of the chatter that's in your mind. You got to start small, maybe one minute. Just breathing and focusing. Nice deep breaths, inhaling through the nose. When you have control over your breath, then you have control over your mind. And when you have control over your mind, then you have control over your life. It's getting easier to tune out everything, but it takes time. I feel completely relaxed and refreshed. Thank you guys. 60 minutes, a small investment toward better health. <sighs> Deborah Ferguson, NBC News. And a recent report from Harvard Medical School recommends practicing relaxation techniques a total of 10 to 20 minutes a day. And the more a person uses those exercises, the better the outcome. 
Well, Jen Hill joins us now with your forecast. At least she'll be joining us in a moment. And 2007 has been a year to remember from serious news topics like the war in Iraq to global warming, but it's also been kind of wacky. We'll take a look at the lighter side of the news in 2007. That's coming up next. News Channel 8, in-depth and interactive on TVO.com. Hundreds got cancer. They say they were exposed to radiation on the job, and Target 8 investigated. The government says it's not responsible. Are you buying that? No, 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 no. Now, view all the reports, link to more information, read and leave comments, and help shape the investigation. At TBO.com, you can help tell the story. In-depth, interactive. News Channel 8 on TBO.com. Go to keywords, Cancer Factory. Happy holidays from our State Farm family to your family. I'm Glenn Mitchell, State Farm agent in Tampa, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I'm Bob DeGraff, your State Farm agent in St. Petersburg. Happy Holidays to you and your family. I'm Elizabeth Lawson, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from our Madeira Beach State Farm Agency. Hi, I'm Elaine Riggler, your State Farm agent in Zephyr Hills. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Season's greetings from your local State Farm agents. Ask anyone to name their favorite things about the holidays, and surely one of them will be the food. The party fair, the sweet treats, the classic dinners, the unexpected delights, the familiar comfort foods. Now entertaining can be just as enjoyable. So pick up a Start Something Party Planner from Publix, featuring boar's head meats and cheeses, and let us help make your next gathering as simple as it is memorable. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Hang on to your hats. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey is taking you over the top. It's the greatest show on earth. With feet so astonishing, you'll flip your lid. Come early to the all-access pre-show. Free with your ticket. It's over the top. Join News Channel 8 and Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey in welcoming Joshua House to opening night on Wednesday, January 2nd, when tickets are $15. Playing at St. Pete Times Forum, January 2nd through 6th. Get your tickets today. Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. At 3 o'clock, 73 degrees. At 9 o'clock, temperatures in the 60s. A nice evening to get outside for a walk. Right now, it's 67 degrees in Tampa. Wind out of the north at 7 miles an hour. Humidity, 68%. Dew point down at 56 degrees. There was some fog around this morning, and the dew point numbers are really close to the temperatures. More fog forming overnight. We'll see some dense fog as well. Right now is mainly along the I-4 area that we saw the fog that's burning off. Currently 66 degrees Dover, 70 right now in Plant City. It's now 65 degrees Waimama. 50s extend from Tarpon Springs up towards Port Ritchie. 60 is the current temperature in Clearwater Beach. 57 in Leesburg, 63 in Frostproof, and 67 is a high in Arcadia. This is the visible satellite. Now look at the light of the day. It's a good way to pick out the clouds that are over the area. And we can see plenty streaming up here to the north. And then we see this right over us. That's what's bringing us the high clouds today. And we're going to see the sunshine beginning to make a comeback. Those low pressure lifts off to the north. And we'll keep the rain chance today less than 10%, but a chance for rain to rise later in the forecast. At St. Petersburg Pier, the high tide will be just before 6 o'clock. Low tide before 8 o'clock. Sunset happening at 542. Here is today's boating forecast. Winds are light. We we'll that sea breeze happening in the afternoon. Seas today 2 to 3 feet. The Gulf temperature is 67 degrees. Light chop today for area waters. And we're talking about this rain that was in the panhandle, and we're hoping we maybe get some of it our way, but that's now lifting away. We'll see some mild air wrapping in behind it, and we'll see those temperatures start to increase. As we look up to the north, you can see the rain now overspreading. Richmond moving up to New York, eventually towards Boston. It's overspreading. Philadelphia right now and then on the just the northern tip there there is some cooler temperatures we do have some snow and ice forming as we move back towards us we had a few showers out in the Gulf of Mexico today so far nothing really happening over land this is a look at the storm to mate viper forecast model eventually we'll see those winds turning more out of the east than out of the southeast that's going to allow the humidity levels to rise as we watch this cold front move on the horizon 
Cold front, it's going to take a while for it to get here, so we'll keep an eye on that. But until then, expect temperatures to continue to increase out ahead of the front. Looks like a front will try to cross the area. That'll be happening right around the New Year's Eve timeline. Here is the national satellite and radar. We're just going to pop the temperatures on for you to show you the forecast highs for the nation. Cooler air is heading over towards Dallas, heading over towards St. Louis and Chicago. Here's a seven-day forecast. New Year's Eve. Just a week away, whole new year coming our way on Tuesday, along with some slightly cooler temperatures. That cold front, Josh, will knock us all the way down to near normal for this time of year. Not exactly chilly. The new year actually starts. We don't get a whole new year. It starts. Half full, half empty. All right. Can I introduce this package? Thank you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, this past year has been dominated by heavy environmental issues. But as we prepare to ring in 2008, it seems only fitting to examine the lighter side of 2007. NBC's Raphael Seth takes a look back. Very good. Lovely this is the technique. worst taste Lovely ever. Technique. 2007 was the year everyone went green. Global warming warnings drove innovative spirits to create floating shoes and cars. The sporty prepared for rising tides with underwater biking and ice hockey. Was that big live earth concert in july here are some of the musical acts that didn't make it to the stage <laughs> activists taught us that instead of just hanging around there are things you can do to conserve energy reuse your bath water recycle your light bulbs and use homemade tools when possible but if you have to employ power tools use them for more than one job Speaking of jobs, the subprime mortgage crisis forced even the best among us to take supplemental employment to put food on the table. But as the wealthy searched for new places to put golf courses, animals began running out of space. Some decided to move into the city. No more scavenging for them. Our feral friends took to life in the fast lane. Somehow, they all avoided that kangaroo. Hand in hand with humans, they dressed up, hitched a ride, and headed out to party. But sooner or later, the party life gets to everybody. You settle down, get married, and it's all downhill from there. Before you know it, you're doing the corporate commute to a nine to five job where you're swimming upstream, running in circles, jumping through hoops. So you think you're a chance in this one? <laughs> Despite the environment, 2007 was still rife with indulgence. People sought exotic furs, expensive shoes, facelifts. <laughs> The climate crisis is no laughing matter, but sooner or later, we'll all have to pull our own weight. For now, though, let's dress up, hitch a ride, and welcome in 2008. We certainly had our share of bizarre stories in 2007, no question about that. Well, when we come back, we'll take a look at some of the stories we're following for you today here on News Channel 8. Next, Entertainment Tonight. There are a lot of celebrities. A rock star, a Baldwin brother, a supermodel. I'm scared to death. <laughs> New Celebrity Apprentice Secrets as the famous fight for Trump's top spot on TV. I'm tired of it, Steven. Oh, Go away. And the guy behind Oprah's weight loss does it again. 140 pounds lost, 120 pounds lost. Bob Green's new before and afters, plus new Katherine Heigl wedding secrets. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on News Channel 8. People used to laugh and call me a video game geek. Now I'm the one laughing because I made a career out of video games. If you want the chance to have an exciting career doing something you love, you should check out career training in game design. You could create 3D models, animate characters, build worlds, and more. Are you a video game geek? Well, you can make a career out of it too. For a complimentary career guide, call 888-856-2111. That's 888-856-2111. Call now. Some things just get better over time. 
And if you're a homeowner age 62 years or older, a reverse mortgage could make this the best time of your life. Hi, I'm Robert Wagner for the Senior Lending Network. A reverse mortgage is a government-insured loan that allows homeowners 62 and over to access the equity in their homes without making any monthly loan payments. I know. I know it sounds too good to be true, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. That's why the Senior Lending Network created this free educational video. It'll tell you all about government regulations, insurances, and safeguards, costs and fees associated with reverse mortgage, estate planning and inheritance issues, and much, much more. So if you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, let me send you your free video right now. It really could make this the best time of your life. Call 1-800-761-1381. That's 1-800-761-1381. Call now. Taking a look at some of our top stories today, retailers hope you use those Christmas gift cards this week. Analysts say this holiday shopping season has been lackluster, with spending across the country rising just 2.4 percent. Now stores and malls across the country are slashing prices with after Christmas sales in an effort to get people into the stores. Officials say it is important for consumers to use gift cards because the sales are not recorded until the cards are redeemed. Investigators are scanning the grounds of the San Francisco Zoo after a tiger escaped last night. She attacked three men in their 20s, killing one of them and leaving the others in critical condition. Stay. Investigators had already added extra security after this same tiger mauled a zookeeper around this time last year. Police shot and killed that tiger last night. Now they're trying to figure out how she escaped and whether she took any more victims. And investigators are looking into a series of fights that broke out at a Bay Area movie theater last night. The box office at St. Petersburg's Baywalk Theater closed down because every movie sold out. That's when teenagers began to gather in mass and someone fired shots. One of the bullets hit a man on the leg. He is expected to be okay. There's no word on whether police made any arrests. They have taken several people in for questioning. Well, time now to go ahead and get a last check on our forecast with Jen Hill. Well, today we have some warm temperatures in the forecast, but it's only going to get warmer. By tomorrow, we're forecasting a high near 79 degrees. Winds will be turning more out of the east than out of the southeast. That's going to allow some more moisture to arrive into the region. And with that, we'll hope for at least a shot for some showers this weekend. Yeah, we need it, no question. Mm -hmm. All righty, thank you, Jen. And finally today, men in Germany dressed in furry costumes earlier this week, scaring unsuspecting bystanders in the traditional annual procession of Bootland. Bootmundland. <laughs> Bootmundland. Say it Easy three times say. fast. All right. The young men dressed in scary-looking costumes, ringing cowbells and making strange noises. The town of M Maria Gern is home to the annual Boot Mundlin and the picturesque landscape of the Bavarian Alps. The tradition dates back to the Middle Ages when villagers tried to wake nature from hibernation at the end of December. Once again, that's in Boot Mundlin. I think I'd rather just buy a new outfit rather than have somebody in an ox outfit come yeah, and roll me in the snow. Probably a better way to do that. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap things up for us on this Wednesday morning. Of course, our next newscast is 5 o'clock this evening. we got to go. 